Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Online Smicha. And this week's Parsha, Parsha's Tetzava, is famous for, besides for the Inyonim and the Mitzvahs that are discussed in the Parsha and elaborated in detail in the Parsha, it's also known for the fact that in this week's Parsha and Parsha's Tetzava, Moshe Rabbeinu's name is not mentioned. And everybody knows the famous answer. Uh, the reason why it's not mentioned in the Parsha is because when when Hashem said Chas I was going to punish, he was going to punish Klal Yisrael for the Misa Ego. So Moshe was pleading and begging Hashem, and he says, "And if you don't accept my requests, Mecheni no Misifracha erase me from the Torah that you wrote." Uh, and therefore, of course, Hashem accepted his plea. But because when a tzaddik says something, it has to have an effect. There is some part of the Torah that has to be lacking, missing Moshe Rabbeinu's name. And it turns out that it's in Parshas Tetzava. And it's Mekubal. Why specifically Parshas Tetzava? So the famous answer is given is because Tetzava is always besmichus, always in proximity to Zayin Adar, which is the, the, the birth date and the, and the yard side of Moshe Rabbeinu. So in proximity to Moshe Rabbeinu's day, that's the day where we fulfilled the title fulfilled the Mecheni Na Asher Mecheni Na B'Sifrach Asher Kesafta. It's interesting to note a couple of more nekudos in this limud. Others say that it's actually a remez in the words Mecheni Na B'Sifrach. Erase me from your sefer Asher Kesafta. If you take the word B'Sifrach. From your sefer, it's actually a, a, a combination of two words. Mecheni na, erase me, me sefer chaf, from the 20th chapter, from the t- 20th parsha, which is the parsha's tetzava. It's interesting to note that from all the parshas in the Torah that Moshe Rabbeinu's name is not mentioned, it's in the whole Chumash Debreshis, because Moshe Rabbeinu wasn't born in Chumash Debreshis, and from, this, from the parshas starting Chumash Mois, it's Parshas Tetzava, as we know now. Parshas Re'ei, Shoftim, Kiseitze, and Kisavoy. And even this is hinted in the words, Mecheni no Mesifracha Asher Kasafta. Erase me from the, the, from the Sefer, from the Torah that you wrote. And the word Asher Kasafta, in these, in these, um, in these uh, Parshas are hinted in the words Asher Kasafta. Aleph stands for the first of the Chamisha Chumsha Torah. In the whole Bereshis, Moshe Rabbeinu wasn't born, so there's no, say, there's no mention of Moshe. Shin is Parsha Shoftim. Moshe Rabbeinu is not mentioned in Shoftim. Reish, Re'ei, Asher. Kasafta is Kiseitze for the Chaf. Kisavoy for the, for the Chaf Tav, Kisafta. And Tetzava. Asher Kasafta. So you see now that in the in the even in the words Asher Kasafta, you have which parshas during Moshe Rabbeinu's lifespan that is not mentioned. The Gra actually says that in the words Va'ata Tetzava, in the words of Ata Tetzava, actually even though it's not mentioned straight, you could hint Moshe Rabbeinu's name. How? The amount of Parshas, the amount of Psukim in Parshas Tetzava is 101. 101 Psukim in Parshas Tetzava. If you take the word, the name Moshe, Mem, Shin, Hey, spell out each letter. Mem is Mem, Mem. Shin is Shin, Yud, Langanun. Uh, hey is Hey, Aleph. That's how, you, that's called the Oisios B'miluon. Every letter as it's spelled out. Mem, 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 shin, shin, yud, nun. And hey, hey, aleph. Says the gra, take off the first letter from all that. Take off the first mem from the double mem. Take off the shin from the yud, shin, yud, nun. And take off from the, the hey from the aleph. So you are left with one mem, a yud, a nun, and a hey. When you add, add that all up together, it's 101. So we see that Moshe Rabbeinu, he's not complete. His whole name is not complete. You can't spell out the name. So there is, it hidden in the Parsha, in the 101 Psukim, you have Moshe Rabbeinu hidden. Of course, you know what Chassidus says, 
that even though it's not it's not mentioned in the name, perhaps it's even mentioned in deeper, because the Torah begins va'ata direct, and who is the va'ata? Not even by name. It's by Moshe Rabbeinu, you straight, and that is how every pasuk in the Torah has tile tile shel remazim.